together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Let's count to ten together. Ready? Here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again. Count with me. One, two, three. Ten to one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we're done. Blast off! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friend. It's so good to see you again. Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose. Fox has a game she wants to play with all of us. Well, let's see what it is. I made up a game called Show Me. But first, we'll need a number. Hedgehog, spin the wheel. Oh, goody! <laughs> That's it, Hedgehog. <laughs> That's the special number. Yay! Uh, Mr. Goose, what number is that? The number eight. Okay, Hedgehog. Show me the card with the number eight on it. Mm, mm, uh, oh, there it is! <laughs> you did it! Now let's flip the card over and count how many pizza slices there are. Mr. Goose, can you help me? Of course. Let's count out loud together. Ready? One, One two... two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many in all? Eight. <laughs> Hedgehog, you win. Yay, what do I win? A pizza party. Yay. I don't think we have any pizza, Fox. We'll make some pretend pizza with paper and crayons. <laughs> Come on, Hedgehog! Today's number is eight. Let's explore the island and count together. Let's do the monkey dance. Yay! Yeah! yeah. There's a brand new dance. Everything eight times. Clap eight times. Not eight times. Point eight times. 
there are eight wiggle bugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many wiggle bugs in all? Eight. eight. That's right. Let's take their pictures. Say cheese! <laughs> Thank you for helping me take that picture. Let's count together. Eight! There are eight apples. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Now count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many apples in all? Eight. Yeah. Come on, wiggle bugs, snack time. It's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Don't Wake the Baby. In this story, a brother and sister try to be very quiet so they don't wake the baby. Let's see if they're successful. Let's begin. Don't Wake the Baby Written and illustrated by Win T. Kim Lien Translated by Alicia Berger Ever since Mom came back with the baby, Eve and John have not been happy. They are not allowed to make noise when the baby is sleeping. But the baby is always sleeping. They are not allowed to run in the house. They are not allowed to chat at snack time. They are not allowed to scream no matter what. But the toughest rule is this one. When the baby is asleep, Eve and John must whisper. If they want to laugh, they can only giggle softly. But one day, the story they are reading is so funny that they can't help laughing. Oh, no! The baby is sleeping! The baby wakes up crying. Mom is angry. She yells at them to go play outside. Eve is sad. She doesn't like being yelled at. John comforts her. He says that it will be more fun to play outside. They can be as loud as they want. After playing soccer for a while, Eve and John are happy again. John kicks the ball. Goal! The ball flies across the garden. Bang! Oh no, the baby is awake. What will happen now? The baby cries. The baby is so loud that his crying breaks the milk bottle. It cracks the pot. It cracks the window. The baby is so loud that his crying lifts the roof off. Their brother won't stop crying. Even John rush inside. Eve holds the baby and sings, but the baby keeps crying. John dances. He does tricks, but the baby keeps crying. What makes a baby stop crying? Oh, soon Eve and John are crying, too. Mom picks up the baby. She comforts him. She sings a lullaby. 
the baby stops crying. Now Eve and John understand. It's impossible for babies to be quiet, so it's better to just not make noise. Shh. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called Five Little Speckled Frogs. Frogs? Oh, like you, Mr. Frog. That's right. Today, you can all pretend to be frogs. Yay! <laughs> I'll sing the first part, and then you sing along with me. How many frogs did I say there were? Five! Good listening. Here we go. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Now I want you to all sing along with me. I want to hear you sing too. How many frogs are there now? Four! Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. How many? Three! Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. How many? Two! Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. How many? One! One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! He jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Well done! Yay! Thank you for singing with me. And thank you, too. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Pig. Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Ooh. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paint brushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint. <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look. My paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper's turning green! That's right! <gasps> Look how smooth it looks! I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures! I'm done! Me too! Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? 
Mine came out green, and Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play. Uh huh. But first, we clean up. Oh, right. That's right. Let's clean up together. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hi, Fox. What are you doing? I'm making patterns. Oh, patterns! Goody. Um, what are patterns? They're designs that repeat. Look, star, heart, star, heart, star, heart, star. What comes next? Uh, I'm not sure. A heart. Let's say the names of the shapes together. Star, heart, star, heart, star, heart, star, heart. Oh. I see the pattern. I hear it too. Star heart. <laughs> right. Oh, can I help you make another pattern? Sure. Let's make another pattern with these same shapes. Heart star heart. Heart star heart. Heart star. What comes next? Heart. <laughs> you got it! Let's say it together! Heart, star, heart! Heart, star, heart! Heart, star, heart! What's the pattern? Heart, star, heart! <laughs> That's it! Oh, can I make a pattern? Sure! My pattern is going to use shapes and colors. Green heart, pink star, green heart. Green heart, pink star, green heart. Green heart, pink star. Do you know what comes next? A green heart. That's it. All together. Green heart, pink star, green heart. Green heart, pink star, green heart. Green heart, pink star, green heart. Can I borrow your glue stick, please? I want to glue these down. Sure. Here you go. Thank you. Green heart, pink star, green heart. Green heart, pink star. Star, green heart. Green heart, pink star, green heart. All done! Do you want to make another pattern? No, I want to go and tell Miss Panda. Miss Panda! Miss Panda! I made a pattern! <laughs> Bye, Hedgehog! See you later! Bye, friends! See you later, too! Oh, hi! It's so nice to see you! Let's listen to some quiet music together. That was very nice. Thanks for visiting. Goodbye. And now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. 
Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Life is but a dream.